Hey everyone, CJ here for Tuts Plus. In this video, I'm going to cover the walkthrough, installation, and setup of our web development environment that we'll be using throughout the entire course. The best way to get started is to download Cactus from cactusformac.com. There should be a link available in the video description. While you're downloading Cactus, take a while to look at a brief overview of Cactus on its beautifully designed website. Of course, there's a whole heap of features that are shown here on the website, a plethora of tools. But most of these features only scratch the surface of what Cactus can actually do. Besides being an easy-to-use, instant web development setup tool, Cactus takes advantage of the Django templating framework, meaning that all the websites that you create in Cactus or use Cactus for aren't just simply static websites. They're really more dynamic than static, and as I've said before, it's more of a misnomer. Now that you've downloaded Cactus, you can just go ahead and open right up and explore the interface. However, there's another version of Cactus that's available to download, and you can see that here by clicking the GitHub link on the web page. If you're used to a more command line sort of terminal kind of web development workflow, then this GitHub version is for you. Plus, it's more of the cutting edge, bleeding edge version because a whole heap of people contribute to the new updates to make Cactus even better. Alternatively, you can, of course, download the one on the website, which is sort of a GUI version of it. Most of the tools and techniques that I'll cover throughout the entire course will be using the GUI version of Cactus, the one available from the website. You can, of course, follow along using the web development sort of terminal version that you can download from GitHub, the command line version. And they're all applicable to either version, except the latest version has more features, of course. So I'll just be covering this baseline non-developed version. All right, now that you've got Cactus downloaded, let's go ahead and open it right up. I've got Cactus already installed, and I've already set it up according to my preferences. Actually, there aren't many preferences in Cactus, to be fair. What you see here is the actual interface, and below this toolbar is just a neat little list of all the projects that you'll be creating in Cactus. Projects are merely like websites, so for example, if you're making a sort of single site, like a personal site, you'd have one project, and another project could be another website entirely not two separate pages within a website. You see here, I already have a demo set up. I'm gonna use this demo to walk through our web development environment. So that means which tech editors we're gonna be using and sort of what file and folder file systems and how we're gonna organize that to make our workflow even easier in Cactus. All right, so now that you've got Cactus downloaded, we can just go ahead and create a new project. For now, I've created this demo project so that I can show you what we can do later in later stages of the course. So I'm just going to go ahead and create a new project. We can choose a plethora of templates here, but I'll explain what each of these templates do later in the course. So for now, let's just open the default one. All right, here's a tip, or rather a warning actually. If you're like me and you prefer saving your sort of web projects inside a Dropbox folder, that's great. But the problem with that is if you save a Cactus project within Dropbox, you won't get that live reload feature advertised on the Cactus website that you'll see here. Cactus has some awesome live reload. So that means it uses FS events if you're a Cocoa developer, and it parses new information to the website without you having to press Command R or reload the page manually. And all those reloads happen across all devices. So if you're working on your web page and you want to preview it on the PC, for example, which doesn't run Cactus, Cactus starts up a local web server that you can preview the site on your PC, even on your iPhone or iPad, and whenever you make changes, it sort of updates automatically. However, when you save your files in Dropbox, it doesn't do that because for some reason there's a bug that clashes between Dropbox's file watching sort of thing in the background and Cactus's own, and there are no instant live updates. And you're going to have to sort of rebuild your project every single time you make a change. So don't save your projects in Dropbox. Instead, what I've done is I've created a custom sites folder here in my home folder. If there's none, I suggest you just create one, just right click new folder and call it sites and OS 10 will do the rest. It's basically an empty project folder where I'll be putting all my sites and where we will be putting all the demo documents that you'll see in the source files from the entire course. As you can see, I've already made one here called Django demo. Going back to Cactus here. All right, so the best thing to do with our new default site, sort of our blank test, we're going to open it and place it here in the sites folder. 
So that's just here, sites, I can call it my site for now. And you'll see that because of the auto refresh and the auto reload, Cactus has already created a new page for us, a new tab in Safari that will automatically update whenever we make changes. Now, our web development environment. There are a whole heap of text editors that you can use. There's even a course on Touch Plus that shall, uh, helps you set up a new sort of web development environment. There's even tutorials on new text editors like Atom or Sublime Text, and you're afraid to use the rest. For this course, I'll be using TextMate because it's what I'm used to, and that's what's deeply integrated into the Cactus environment. So and all I have to do, because Cactus knows which default text editor I'd like to use, I can just hit Edit, and it opens the actual project folder within TextMate. You can, of course, use Atom or even Espresso by MacRabbit, and hitting Edit allows you to open those files in your favorite text editor. You can, of course, change it by holding this or right-clicking, sort of like that, and allows you to change your main text editor. But for now, I'm going to be using Cactus and for the entire course. All right, so here in TextMate, you'll see I have my file browser, which is like a, it's a mini version of the Finder, and the main text editing area where I'll be doing all the edits throughout the entire course. All right, so just browsing the main folder here that Cactus has automatically generated. Remember, whenever we create a new project, Cactus creates new sort of configuration files that you'll see here and folders and where we'll be dragging and dropping all our main things. So let me just open this up. This pages folder is where all of our main files will go. So this is where our pages will go, literally, main pages. Plugins is where all the Python plugins will go. So just double clicking here, you'll see this is a Python command. You won't be, uh, we won't be editing stuff like this in the course, so I'll be adding some things in and out. But for now, we won't bother anything about this because all we need, or we're using Cactus for anyway, is just for serving HTML and CSS files. Speaking of CSS files, a lot of our assets will be included in this static folder that you'll see here. It's called static instead of assets in Cactus. Here, there's a folder where we'll be placing our CSS files that we can call manually for each sort of page we have or sort of have templates. Images, where we'll store all our images. We don't actually have to copy the path name because Cactus has its own variables using the Django templating framework that we'll use. And all the other JS JavaScript files that we have here. We won't matter about that for, for now. Finally, there's a folder called templates folder. This is the most powerful folder in all of sort of Cactus, so sort of the environment here, besides the plugins folder, because that's where all the plugins go. Templates is important, this folder here, because this is the main skeleton or framework of our entire website. So if we have a main page, sort of what our site will look like from the entire view, this is where it will go. And using Cactus and Django's templating framework, we can insert blocks on the fly as we create our own pages. So we don't have to retype code, have to recall all of our scripts over and over again. And that's exactly what our web development framework and our web development environment will look like. So as we go through the entire course, I'll just be tabbing through all of these files, going through all these folders. We'll be adding files in and out, but this is the basic structure. And I highly recommend that you do not edit any of these or sort of tamper with the names because those are the main skeleton frameworks of Cactus. Unless, of course, you're a Python programmer and you want to change them in the actual Cactus file. Or, if you're more advanced, you can edit them in the actual Cactus sort of command line version, which has its own sort of utilities and configurations that you can edit and sort of change as you use them. And that's an overview of what our web development environment will look like. Basically, just get Cactus, a really handy text editor that allows you to open files from the side so you can quickly summon them and the actual skeleton framework of Cactus that we've seen in the TextMate project sidebar folder. And that's all we'll need. Nothing more, nothing less. You can, of course, add things on your own or have the rest follow through. And that's a brief overview of our web development environment. In the next video, I'm going to be talking about how Cactus works. Why is it all like this? Why does it all have these sort of weird sort of file structure? And what can we do to make our sort of websites even better now that we know how Cactus works. All that in the next video. Let's get started, shall we?